Are you thinking about selling your home? But Zillow is telling the world that the home is worth far less than it really is? If that's you, I have some tips on how to increase your Zestimate right after this. Hi, I'm Kevin Grolig, a real estate agent with Compass in Bethesda, Maryland. And thank you for checking out my video series, Real Kevin. I post videos every Wednesday about life and real estate in Montgomery County that you simply don't want to miss. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. So we're talking the Zillow Zestimate. First of all, let me tell you that the Zestimate is wrong about 90% of the time. So when it comes to Zillow giving you a value, they rely mostly on tax information as well as recent sales. Most of the sales are those that are closest to your property, which aren't necessarily the ones that are most comparable to your home. Unless you tell me otherwise, I'm pretty sure Zillow has never shown up at your home and they've never shown up at any of the comparable homes either. So once again, they don't know if you've updated the kitchen, the bath, they don't know if you've got that great backyard that backs to trees versus your neighbors that slopes down into a cliff. They certainly won't know if you've got high-end finishes like wood floors and granite countertops, or if you've got a 1970s Brady Bunch kitchen. So while I put very little value in the Zestimate, you know what, consumers don't. Zillow is a big brand, and oftentimes what they see online is what they believe, because as we all know, if it's on the internet, oh yeah, it's gotta be true. So today, I wanna give you a few simple tips on how to raise your Zestimate. So whether you're thinking about selling your home now or in the near future, and heck, even if you're not, it probably makes sense to take the five to 10 minutes to go ahead and complete the tips that I'm giving you to help raise your Zestimate value. So step one, you're gonna to wanna to go to Zillow.com and type into the search bar your address. While you're there, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's set to owner view, not public view. Step two, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to where it says, review your home facts. This is where you're gonna be asked to confirm that you are the owner of the home. Once you've confirmed that you're the owner, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and start making sure that the information there is accurate. Start with bedrooms and baths, Sometimes that's incorrect. Make sure that the square footage is correct. And then of course, you're gonna have the options to put in updates and upgrades that you have that Zillow simply doesn't know about. There's also spots where you can actually put a description of your home, as well as one that I like, where it actually you can put in there what I like about this home. So once you've completed and updated your profile, click save and you're done. So once you've completed it, how long does it take to actually show up online? You know, I'm a little unsure about that. Um, I've been told it takes a few weeks to maybe a month. You know, I recently had some clients of mine who did exactly what I told them to do, and within a few weeks, it actually raised their Zestimate from 592 to just over $650,000. You know, once again, I find the Zestimate to be highly inaccurate. However, why not use and leverage that technology to justify the value of your home? Now, of course, if we actually boost it up enough to be over your list price, this is definitely something that we wanna draw attention to with the buying public. So that's it on the Zillow Zestimate. If you're interested in raising the value of your Zestimate, obviously you wanna take the challenge. Of course, if you wanna raise the value of your home, you may wanna check on two of these other videos that I've done recently. Hey guys, thanks once again for checking out the latest video in a series, Real Kevin. Okay guys, hey, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment below. And please subscribe to my channel and smash that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos every Wednesday. And as always, if you have any other questions about buying, selling, or relocating to Montgomery County, Maryland, please contact me on the contact information at the end of this video. That's it for today. And as always, go safe, go healthy, Go sane and go in peace.